I didn't read this last time, did I? The King of Lee. Drake maintains that it can repel the forces of the Great Old Ones and lock the doors of the Undersea Key of Lee. I see an ugly, solid gold medallion engraved with the same symbol that repulsed Charles Hawkins in the nameless bookstore. It remains to be seen if it can really protect Sarah Hawkins. I guess we'll see. We really collected a lot of a large variety of bizarreness really quickly. Alright, so I'm trying to find Yeah. That, basically. To go down there or stay up here? Hang on. Why do you have that near a house? I guess she is the artist. Should I be looking further upstairs or downstairs? I guess finding the bust is the secondary goal, finding the amulet is the primary goal. So I guess the bust is technically kind of optional? I don't know, I'll just take a look around. You guys ever notice you have a lot of house? What do you do with all this house? Is it a bust of you? It's not a pleasant sight. Uh, is that it? No, he's not bearded. He ain't got no beard. You guys have a lot of busts, though. And only some of them look like weird melted Cthulhu faces. One might even say that you're all... busted. Huh. Still, that's the same one as before. What, do you mass produce these things? For who? Hello. You are also here, evidently. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pius. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? I mean, I'm with blaming him over blaming me. I was like, what are you, what are you doing bl blaming me? I'm like, she, he, she was... It's like, if she hadn't tried to help me... Well, she tried to help everyone, because there was tons of patients like me that were being abused and so on but on top of that like he there's explicitly a murderer in this story who is not me so blaming anyone besides the murderer is like f genuinely fucked up really wish i knew what these options are before i click on them oh well have no fear bradley dr fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long sooner or later he will be judged for what he has done you just need to have faith. What are you talking about? What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh... The voice of reason, Pierce. As always. It's weird, because like whenever you have a, whenever you're like in, you're playing like Fallout, and you're like, I specialize in intelligence, and then like an intelligence score thing comes up, you're like, I want to pick the intelligence one, because it's my build. But my build is being insane, so I just don't, I literally pick up an option that is like me being blindfolded whenever I want to pick it. Like, <laughs> the dialogue choice is just a bunch of symbols, and I'm like, okay. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. 
That skull is so... That is a oversized skull, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Just my character's crazy. But we don't talk about him. The crazy one. You guys need less house. Or I need to enlist a second person in searching. Honestly, I should've just gone in the basement, huh? But then I wouldn't have found him being there. So I, at, least, at least that happened. Is the house, this is the rooms people were sleeping in? The kids room? Nope. Oh wait, this is it. It was, it was a good idea to come this way. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting it. <laughs> did he just, did he just pull it out of his ear? Like instantly, there wasn't like a look around moment or like where, ooh, whoa, what's up with this statue? What secrets do you hold? He just instantly knew to pull like a parchment roll out of its ear hole. I'm like, damn. Did you read the script? Did you know what was going to happen? Just very startling if my character takes a, a wild action without me getting the establishment of why he th thought to do that in the first place. It's a funny moment. Would you like to do a summoning Mr. circle? Hawkins telling the truth. <laughs> I also know exactly where that thing is because I was just looking at it, the skull and everything. What kind of ritual was she preparing? A Lovecrafting one. Or she created the Shambler painting here? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? I mean, I thought that before even doing the, the magic thing that you do. You feeling all right? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. She was trying to send back the shell. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Oh, I was standing inside of him, so I couldn't tell he was there. Aren't you spooky looking? How'd that work out for you, huh? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Is that how he got infected? Or whatever happened to him? Did he break in to stop this from happening? Is this like this is like a containment circle, isn't it? Like it would the shambler wouldn't be able to leave this circle, I think, is how that works. I'm not sure. It's weird how their their distortion effect is digital in nature as opposed to anything that eyes would see. Like this is all static on the screen and she's glitching out like she's made of pixels and stuff. Which made sense for ob observer but feels weird for this game. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. Otherwise, she'd be very dead. We wouldn't have wanted that now, would we? Did that directly lead to her death later? Via murder? Twenty thousand leagues into the sea. Always. There's a lot of copies of that book on this island. They're his biggest fans. Is that basically the same painting, but one of them's freaked out? Kinda. This was her studio. 
where mostly that painting repeats a lot there and then there and then there and uh, judging by the genetic diversity that this island has that's a painting of literally every man on the entire island because they all look completely identical except for basically just the the main characters Well, it's good to be vindicated and know that it was the right call to come upstairs. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Well, there we go. What's the still life, though? Oh, did I just lose that objective or something? I... I thought I was doing the secondary objectives, not the primary objectives. Because the first primary objective said to find the amulet, the secondary objective said to, to find the... The, the bust. Then the secondary objective after that said to find the still life, which I thought was where that image was taking me. I don't know. I mean, if that wasn't what I was supposed to find, then I don't really know what I was supposed to find otherwise. Occultism's getting up there. <clears throat> the failed incantation in Sarah Hawkins' office. A circle decorated with unknown symbols surrounded by partly consumed candles bear witness to the artist's occult activities. In the middle of tangible proof, upturned easel, broken bolt, mark left on the floor by a beast, new residual images arrived to disturb the reconstruction. The Necronomicon appeared on the floor, probably because Sarah Hawkins sought the knowledge required to carry out her right within its pages. It was, no doubt, a right of revocation, because the Shambler was present. The mark on the floor does not lie. There is no other creature on Earth capable of making anything like it. Whatever Sarah Hawkins tried to do, it failed. And the state of the room accentuates the words of her dead husband. She must never again come near occult forces. Sketch of a still life. What 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 does still life refer to? Is the sketch still life because it's a drawing of a, a scene? Is this the? Yeah, as far as far as as far as I can tell, I found what I was supposed to find. So there must not there must not actually be an extra objective. That that must have just been them explaining how to find that thing. Cool, I'm psychotic. I'm all out. <laughs> I'm all out of meter. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah, there's Sarah Hawkins' ritual. Is the Necronomicon endowed with its own conscience? While investigating the Hawkins' mansion, Pierce came into contact with a residual image of the lost book. The work is so powerful that even the memory of it is enough for the detective to lose some sanity. Pierce is not the only person to have read it, as, as he suspected Sarah Hawkins also stated it. So just remembering the Nep Necronomicon put me over the edge. I was gonna say, like, out of all the things we've done so far, this image of a ritual featuring entirely known entities, the Shambler, the Shambler painting, Sarah Hawkins, a uh, uh, summoning rich circle, the Necronomicon, I'm like, there's no new elements in that memory. And it's also not a first a first hand thing we're seeing, it's just us interpreting evidence. That made us go crazy anyway. That's how easy it is. My sanity is now psychotic. There is a secret. A forgotten secret. So old and terrifying. Which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes, or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth, and you have seen the frightening face of reality. All right, we're going full crazy. It's going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So yeah, I think this was all I was supposed to find. 
So secondary objective just meant was just supposed to guide me towards the primary objective. It wasn't like a, sec a side task I could do optionally. I was worried I was missing out on something because I found the amulet. Oh wait, Drake was on the opposite side of the whole house, right? Although I saw your memory. Can I talk about that? No. None of that's happening. There you are, Drake. Ah, uh, it's you again. I can't click on this. I have sanity requirement, but I can't click on it. I have, did I already do that before, maybe? I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. This drip feed of reward. Give it to me. Give it to me. I must have. I must achieve maximum psychology. Then I will become the psychologer. <laughs> the psychologer. I'll have like four stats maxed at that point, won't I? Three. It's spot hidden, then investigation, then psychology. We're working on occultism, though. I'm fully embracing every bit of occult I can find. I wish I. I definitely wish I'd put points in it at the beginning, and just because that's one of the only chances you can. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. <laughs> you bet I will. It shouldn't be a surprise in a Lovecraft story that we constantly lack control over ourselves. But man, we lack control over ourselves a lot. We spend a significant chunk of time in this game in other people's custody at various times. Even just getting permission to leave the coastline, we were kind of subjecting ourselves to someone's custody or another. And there was almost like a competition of who was going to get to tell us where to go and stuff like that. And then we uh, keep being a patient or a prisoner or both. Chapter 10, Darkwater Police Station. With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of a, her desire to track and kill the dimensional shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police.
You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. You said that already. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Listen, Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Did he just say, let me show you to new quarters, then walk away? Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker, we meet at last. Who's there? Oh, in Doraine. I'm bummed out that my investigation skill didn't work at all. I'm okay. I can't drown into water, right? Like, I mean, I can't drown in imaginary water. I am the one men named Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. Bit full of himself, isn't he? <laughs> they call me Leviathan, not because I'm Leviathan-like, but because I'm just so smart that they called me Leviathan because of my brain. That's why they did it. They like me because of my personality, not my body. <laughs> I, uh, I'm bummed out that my investigation skill didn't seem to work just because I'm like, I, I, I maxed out the skill. That's kind of hard to do. And at that point it says 100%, so you would think that means it has to work. And that, feel, that felt like one of the mo moments where you're, it'd be like a skill check that would branch the story. The moment where you're like, I finally get to talk to the police chief. Chief, hey, here's all the shit I've found. And also I'm... I have maxed out investigation skills, so I can nail this check. And then I didn't. Or it, maybe you could never win at it. I actually wonder how much branching there is in this game besides your sanity score, basically. Because it feels like I'm not really making decisions. Despite the fact that all the skills and so on give the implication of stuff mattering. Because a lot of the skills I've maxed out don't seem to actually have, lead to massively different outcomes. So he said not to struggle or speak. So I can I can submit because of, because of my my sanity level. Your mind has begun to expand. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. 
You are here to access the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Where is the Oracle? Is she not the very object of your quest? I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. Our paths shall cross again, Truth Seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the Dimensional Shambler is to appear, he will do it here. How big is his mouth? The I knew it! Oh my god. No! Not again! Algernon, come back! Am I playing as her? I didn't... Oh my god. Like, she has a normal-ish proportioned face. A bit stylized. And then Algernon has this horrifying, like, eight-inch wide mouth. Where I'm just like, oh my goodness. It's like... You, like, just, like ear to ear is mouth. And the Shambler. Oh, that looks a lot like a stealth level down there. That looks a lot like a level you stealth through down there. So you want to check there. Where'd the staircase go? Climbing ropes? Oh, we're outside. I thought we were like down in a cave. But those are the shoreline rocks we saw before. Yeah. Some kind of complex busted up pulley system around here. Stranded ourselves. 